How's it going to YouTube? Solo Android here. And today, we're going to be taking a look on how to modify Flappy Birds. So for this modification, you're going to need quite a few things. Uh, first thing is a program called WinRAR. Uh, second thing is a program called Android Commander. Another is a photo editing software. I'm using Paint.net. You can use Photoshop or whatever you have. And also, you need... Flappy Birds APK, the file, right? So I'm gonna have all these links down in the description uh, below. Um, again, this only works for Android phones, and you will need a. I'm gonna be showing you on how to do this on a PC. The first step you need to do is open up any file folder. Uh, I open up just my my documents. Uh, next thing you're gonna do is hit the ALT button, where this little menu pops down right here. And you're going to go to view, or actually you're going to go to tools and hit folder options, right? For folder options, you're going to go to view, and then scroll down right here until you see hide extensions for known file types, and make sure that box is unchecked. So next what we're going to want to do is go to that APK file, the flappybirds.apk file. We're going to right click it, and go to rename. And then instead of renaming the Flappy Birds, we're going to go here to where it says APK. Delete the APK and hit ZIP. And you're going to get this little checkbox that says, uh, do you want to do it? You're going to just click yes. Right, and it's going to change to zip folder. So make sure this file is a zip folder uh, from downloading WinRAR. That, that's in the description. So after... After that file is a zip folder, you want to double click it, and it's going to open up the uh, the zip folder. So now you're going to want to click the file called Assets. Once you click it, you're going to want to hit GFX, and then what you want to do is click on this atlas.png and drag it onto your desktop. So now what we want to do is minimize. Do not don't exit this out, but just minimize it, and we're going to open up the image editing software in my case paint.net and we're pretty much just going to open this little file that we that we dragged so here I'm just going to open it and what you see here is the image the raw image that the game uses so from here we're going to edit all these images now to edit these images all you have to do is just replace them so here we have the background the night and day here we have the road that the, the bird runs on. Here's the, the font that says get ready, game over, the title screen. Here's your the tap that shows the instruction of the game, your play, your leaderboard. And here's some of the scoring. And if we go down here, we're going to see the, the uh, award arena with your medals right here and here. Here you have your two different pipes. This is the pipe when you die. It just flashes this for like one frame or something. Here's your normal pipes. And then here are your birds that you use, the yellow birds, your blue birds, and your red birds. Alright, so here's the uh, Super Mario one that I use. Here you can see the land. Here's the, uh, the running texture with the water. The little, uh, the little flying Koopa with the directions on it. And also I changed the Mario, Luigi, and a flying turtle Koopa. Here's a little hint while making these backgrounds. As you can see from this bush and below, uh, on the Android devices, you won't be able to see this, all this stuff underneath your the Android devices. That's why here I didn't I didn't finish all this up. Now an important thing to note for this water right here that I'm using, uh, this image bounces back and forth. That's what makes it uh, like have the illusion that it's moving. So you want to play around with getting these ends correct. So that way, once you put it on your phone, it's a nice fluid motion. So one thing to keep in mind when changing your bird's icons right here, uh, you want them to be relative to the same size as the original bird. That's because the hitbox that the, uh, the game recognizes is... They're roughly the size of the bird. So if your icon that you change is smaller than the hitbox, you're going to be hitting the pipes without even knowing it. Here's another one that I found online. 
Uh, the backgrounds, they keep the background just the same, but they change the uh, birds and the title screen to the dog meme. And also you have playable dog characters, as well as the score. I don't know if you can see it here, instead of saying high score, it says wow. Your uh, game over says much over. And also the medals have the dog emblem inside. So you can change all of that. Alright, so once you're satisfied with the icon that you created, the image, uh, you're going to want to save it back on a place that you're, that's close to your desktop or whatnot, and uh, you're going to rename it atlas.png, so don't, don't change the name, and it should be the same size and everything. So once that's done, you want to uh, have that file, that zip file open, where it says atlas right here. So what you're going to want to do is just click on it and drag it to the zip file and it's going to give you this pop up here and you're just going to press OK and it should replace that atlas file okay so in order to check you just double click on it and it should open it up, open it up. alright so the next application we're going to be using is called Android Commander before we use Android Commander we're going to want to click on the zip file we're going to want to rename it, and instead of putting zip back here, we're going to delete the zip and type in apk. And then hit, you're going to get that dial box, just hit yes. And it should be changed to the uh, non existent file. Alright, so once you have that apk file, you're going to want to open up Android Commander. And it's going to be having a little loading bar right here. Alright, you're going to want to hit the no device mode and go up here where it says tools, hit that, put sign file, and then on this first box you're going to want to hit browse, and then find, find where you kept that APK file, in my case my desktop, so I'm going to hit, click that, and I'm going to browse to see where I want it to be, and I want it, all, I want it to be on my desktop also. So I'm going to keep it here. This is my this is the file that I want to sign. And here you can just rename it to whatever you want. I'm just going to hit sign right here, okay? So once you hit sign, it's going to be loading and it's going to say operation complete. Go ahead and press okay on this and just close everything out. And then on your desktop, you should have a file that says signed flappy bird that apk if you sign it on your desktop. So once that file is on your phone, you want to go to your settings and go to security and then scroll down until you see device administration and go ahead and make sure that unknown devices is checked. So once, once that's done, you want to go to a file explorer. Now, my Samsung Galaxy S3 came with a file explorer, it's called My Files. I'm pretty sure most Samsung devices have this file called My Files. Uh, if your phone doesn't have a file explorer, just go to the Play Store and type in File Explorer. So once you have your file explorer, you're going to want to navigate to where you saved your file at. In my case, I saved it in my DCIM folder, in my app folder, and it's right here. So I'm going to click this. And it's going to, if you have Flatbirds already installed, it's going to, it's going to tell you that um, it's going to reinstall it. Go ahead and play it install. And then hit open. And it should open up Flatbirds the way you have it. As you can see, my background has changed. My icon has changed of the bird. I also change the rate color and also the running background. Alright guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed and uh, don't forget to like, subscribe and leave comments and tune in next week because I'm going to be showing you on how to put this on the Android device.